Emma, look at that! Oh, it's screaming. That is unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. Well done! Oh. Look at that. Not a bad sight. Oh, mate. Hi, and welcome to Fishing WA. Ryan, what's happening today, mate? Mate, we're doing my favourite form of fishing, dolphin fish on light gear at the fads. It's autumn time, it's dolly time. I know, mate, there's amazing colours in these things. How's the colours? We've got a great show lined up. This is one show you don't want to miss. There's no doubt that autumn time is a great opportunity to go offshore fishing. Today's plan was to launch from Woodman's Point and head straight out to the fads, which are located west of Rottnest Island. Dolphin fish not only taste good, they are a great sport fish, if you're using the right gear that is. Now I won't show you both outfits, I've got my 15 pound over there, this is my 10 pound, very similar. So it's two to four kilo rod. Um, now two to four kilo sounds light, but you can land big fish with it. That one there is the Doa Coldia Reel, it's a 2500 size, 10 pound extreme braid, so nice and strong. You can land big fish on light line. Fluorocarbon, ran about say a metre and a half of it. That one there is 20 pound, no higher than 30. Now fluorocarbon itself is invisible in the water and high abrasion resistance. Down to the jig head, I normally use pristine jig heads and also the TT jig heads. And now, time to show you how to thread on a soft plastic. Now I know you've heard it before, but when I like a brand and it catches so much fish, I'm happy to talk about it. McCarthy soft plastics, they're so dynamite on all different species. Red emperor, coral trout, dolphin fish, you name it. That one there's a crystalla colour. That one there, what size? It's a five inch paddle tail. It's got a nice swimming action. And what's most important is to show you how to thread it on. A lot of guys rush this bit. If it's not straight, it won't swim right, okay? So what I normally do is line it up to know where the actual hook point is gonna come out. Use my finger to point there. Mark it with the actual hook. Now, thread it on nice and straight. Take your time, no rush. You see it going through there? Come out to where I put the actual hook point in there as my marker. Round about there. And thread it on. So nice and slowly. And look at that. Absolutely straight as. It's going to swim well. And that there is going to get me a lot of dolphin fish. And on Ski Harry. Hit it right at the boat. Here we go. McCarthy. The soft plastic. Yep, the McCarthy, mate. I was just trying a few lures. We just rocked up here at the fads. And I said to you, you just got to keep on mixing it up until you find what they're eating. And I put on the McCarthy, I think this was a five inch paddle tail with a new lavender colour, which is one of my faves. You and love a bit of lavender, don't you? A bit of lavender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, nice little jump. Yes. Waiting for that. Sort of at the end of the season right now, where we've just gone into autumn, it's, it's probably a couple of weeks before the fads get pulled out. The fads have been going off, said Harry, we've got to go and film it. It's been a while since we've put uh, dolphin fish on the show, yes, there, Harry. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've had dollies on the show. Absolutely. I was going to say, should I get the net, but not ready. Not ready yet. He hit it right at the boat. What I was doing is I cast that, let it sink down. So we've got a lot of mutton birds around right now. They've been sort of giving me grief with trying to eat whatever I throw at them. So. What I've done is sunk down the McCarthy soft plastic, twitched it back fast, and right at the boat, he smashed it. He's followed her all the way. Yeah. Look at the colours in the water. It's only a small one. In the same school, there's fish up to about six, seven kilos. You'd only be around about two and a half kilos. But on the light gear today, we bought out the 10 pound, 15 pound stuff. So you've got to sort of match it. If it's sort of 10, 15 pound fish, use the right line class. So. Probably could have gone 10 pound, but started off with a 15 pound because there has been some big dollies being caught. All right, you got the net, Harry? I certainly do. I knocked this one over fairly quick on that 15 pound because he hit it right at the boat. So he burnt up uh, that first run or two. He burnt up all his energy for a small fish. Oh, but cool. lively still, nonetheless. There we are. There you go. Yeah, he's still lively. Looks very small on that net, but a dolly nonetheless. And I think we should... Uh, How's get it, it out and have a good look at it. How's the colours? Yeah, we'll get it out of the net and we'll give you a close look. Won't muck around too much with this one. It's only a small one. I want to get those bigger ones that are in that school there, Harry. It's early days. And I reckon, well, there's small ones, there's big ones. Definitely. And how's the colours on that? 
mahi mahi, dolphin fish. Beautiful eating, especially fresh. A lot of raspy teeth inside there, hence you need the fluorocarbon. So right now I'm running around about 20 and 30 pound, depending on what outfit. This one here, I think about 30 pound fluorocarbon. And such a pretty fish, deserves to go back. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. Come on, come back. It's a bit of a nudge there, Harry. Come on, come back, Rick. Oh, got him. Yep, got him. Yep. Nice. Is he a little bigger than the other one? A little Big. small. Don't yeah, they? it's a small school. It was a bigger school as well. They're a schooling yeah, fish. They hang around these fads. Fad meaning fish attracting device or fish aggravating device. Sorry, fish aggregating device, meant to say. Sorry, trying to fight the fish and talk. Not always easy, this job. These fads attract little bait fish, and then the dollies come in for the little bait fish, and then the marlin come in for the dolphin fish. So it's a bit of a food chain. I've actually seen marlin out here hitting up schools of dollies. Can I Not keep one? I was going to say, mate. <laughs> You said you wanted to keep a feed of fish. Yeah, I haven't had a dolphin fish feed for ages, so I think we might keep this one, right? I think so. I think Hounds. it might be ready now. Yep, it definitely. What does it bring around? It's in. Three oh, spool. Yeah, definitely bigger than the other one. That's a nice size, that one. That's a good dolly. Yeah. Well, that's a... Uh, a bit of energy in there. That's a fat dolphin fish. We'll let it calm down and we'll give you a close look. All right, wipe my hands. Finally spiked this one. This is a lively dolphin fish, now spiked. Definitely. And there you go. Slightly different colours to the other one was. It's more blue, this one's come out. Yeah, more blue. It's funny, sometimes out here they're just iridescent green, sometimes full blue. This one here is more of a pale colour, so it's normally their fright colour, so obviously I frightened him. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if I come down you out of the water, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So a spike, you can just see right there, use a the brain spike. What that does is kills it humanely, shuts down its whole body. All we do now is put it on ice. Fresh is best. Definitely. Feed tonight, eh, your house? Uh, yeah, definitely, mate. No, it's only on a straddle on the barbie. No worries, alright. We'll put it in the air ski and uh, let's get back to fishing. To find out more information about Fishing WA or just want to ask a question, like us on Facebook. All right, two fish, two casts. Just goes to show you've got to mix it up. Just walked up only about 15 minutes ago. I tried a stick bait, I tried a, a diving minnow. It wasn't working. They were looking at it, they weren't eating it. You just got to mix it up. This time I put out the McCarthy, straight away got results. Second cast got results. So mix it up. They're liking the McCarthy soft plastic, and if they're liking it, stick to it. And I was just saying my piece to camera about two casts, two dolphin fish. Yeah, yeah, you could have let me have the rod. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, nice jump, That's nice a jump. Good jump too. Out there, might even do a second one. Oh, yeah, second. Oh, and a third. I drag a little bit tight, might back it off after that fish. So important, actually, on that note, when you fight a fish, normally after you landed it, you tighten the drag up a little bit more. So when you do it, your next cast, always back it off a little bit, back to a normal drag. Because often you tighten it up as you get close to the boat, hook up the next fish and it's too tight and you can snap your line off. So just back it off, it's back to normal now. This is a good fish. I might actually have him hooked on the side. So I was actually dropping that soft plastic. Third cast, three hookups. I love my McCarthy soft plastics and I think the proof says it all. The call was made before the fads got pulled in. Good mate, Reese Whitred, who's the president of PGFC, said the fads are coming in, Ryan, hurry up. Film your show, and we had a break in the weather. And how good is this? Oh, look at the colours of this fish. Oh, look at that. That, that is unreal. So important to have a smooth drag system. I'm using using a Doa Caldia Reel 3000, which is silky smooth drag system, which is important. So when they do want to run like that, oh. need I say any more? It's not sticky drag. So these Doa reels, very nice. Oh, How's that for netting? Good stuff, well done. Oh, look at the colours on that. That's, That's a good fish. Yeah. We'll get it quickly out of the net and we'll give you a close look. Unlike the last one went ballistic, this one hasn't gone crazy, thank you. And have a look at those colours back at home. Hopefully the uh, camera can pick it right up. It's got blue dots, iridescent green and golds. What a magnificent fish. So streamlined for speed. 
any bait fish in the water would not want those chompers going at you. Another one for the ice box. Bad fishing going off. Throughout Fishing WA TV series, you've seen us use the Extreme gear. Let me show you just some of the products. We've got the Extreme PE braid, very well priced. From brim braid all the way through to Jewfish, awesome stuff. We've got the Extreme hooks. From skippy size all the way to Jewfish, snapper, you name it. Ultra sharp, ultra strong. We've got the metal slice. Everyone loves the metal slice there. From herring all the way up to Taylor salmon size, great product. You always need leader, the extreme leader. From low poundage all the way up to the heavy stuff there for offshore deep water fishing. If you're chasing Jewfish or snapper, bolch and groper, the Octo jig and the metal jig, all different sizes, different colours, this will get you a lot of reef fish and out of the rods. The Fishing WA Extreme range is huge. From squidding to bottom bouncing to trolling to poppering to jigging, you name it, we've got it. Very well priced, ultra light. Check them out your nearest Extreme Tackle retailers or check them out online, extremetackle.com.au. Saw that dolly, oh, Harry. Nice little one. Oh, oh, nice jumping, jumping. Yeah, it's going. Oh, lost it. Keep him going. No, no, it's still yep. there. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Nice. Jesus. Gotta love that silky smooth yeah, drag. Fun. Mate, an amazing. Soft plastic's what they want right now, mate. I know. It's, it's the just... only thing at this stage that's working. As much as we've got so many other lures to throw, can't help but uh, retie on the soft plastic. I'm actually rigging up my 10 pound now with another McCarthy soft plastic. If they want it, give it to them. They definitely want these soft plastics. Yeah, mate. I saw you, you were just twitching it and it was coming up yeah. behind it, following it, following it, following it, and wham I, mean, I, I had a couple of touches and then with that last cast, basically as soon as it hit the water and sunk about, you know, 30 centimetres down, that was it. And I think... Well, grab the net, mate. Yeah, grab that net to try to bring a fish up with oh, a leader, 20, that. 30 pound, and bring it into the boat, it's gonna snap off. So look, always use a landing net. couple of mates go, around the place. You go to your left, mate. There's about four or five of them just sitting there. Yeah, look at that. Pretty colors. That's the key. 10, 15 pound for 10, 15 pound dolphin fish. No point coming out here with 30 pound. Enjoy it, it's a sports fishery. That's it. Oh, another run. <laughs> you got to love it, don't you? Yep. It's so important to use that fluoro gum because right now it may actually have the soft plastic in its mouth gnawing on the very sharp teeth and then Harry will lose his fish. So fluoro carbon, a must, 20, 30 pound. I'm in your way every yeah, time I now, know, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> go on, get it now. I'm, I'll get, swim yeah. in. I'm trying to swim it in. Okay. It there you go. There you go. Free spool. Very similar to the first one that I got, but yeah. a dolphin fish. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. Okay, so wet cloth over its eyes so it doesn't stress out. Do you want to release this fish, mate? Yeah, mate, let me have it. Okay, oh jeez, that was well and truly hooked. I don't know if you can see it home. There's very sharp, raspy teeth. Absolutely raspy as. So the fluorocarbon is in there. No, no, no. Very sharp. You're going to lose your fish. This thing should shoot off like a bullet. One. Ready? Go. There she goes. And congrats, mate, a Fisher cast. I know. Doing Fats well, man. Behind Rotto, it's going off. You two got to get out there and do it for yourself. You on, are you? Yeah. I went down the 10 pound. That's a char little cheeky, mate. I know. I've had so much fun on the 15 pound. Oh, nice jump. jump. Nice jump. jump. I might do another one. Let's have a look. After Harry caught that fish, whilst it was obviously a bit smaller than a few of the bigger ones I caught, oh nice, pound for pound, he matched it with a 10 pound. The power of these fish, they actually are the fastest growing fish in the ocean. In captivity, they grow two kilos per month. Out in the wild, normally about a kilo a month. So, they go from very small to very big, all in one year. And I think the legal size is 500 mil, if I'm correct. At a guess, legal size 500 mil, your minimum legal size, and bag limit three here for statewide. So three pelagics, 
including mackerel if you want, or wah wahoo. But today, nice we're one. taking home a few dolphin fish, and I'm a little bit scared to lift that over. I really should use a net, but Harry's busy, so I might just try. Nah. I've been there, done that. It's going right. to snap. That's hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The tip there, free spool. Just a good example just then. If I don't put it in free spool, that graphite tip could have snapped. So, look after the rod. Another dolphin fish. I reckon a very quick release. Yeah. If I can, that one there. Out. And. How's that in the light? We're getting small, medium and large. Doesn't matter. Harry and I are having a bore here. Feds are going off. Time to release. I'm loving it. This year we are giving away $2,000 worth of extreme tackle as well as a Bradley 6 rack smoker valued at $1,200. To enter, all you have to do is like us on Facebook. <laughs> Wash my hands after releasing that fish, a little bit slimy. So important was Harry's fishing to talk about technique. What I like to do basically is one, go up to a fad to see if there's dolphin fish. If there's no dolphin fish, generally you're wasting your time. So look around, find dolphin fish. Once you do find them, see where they're sitting. On the leeward side, doesn't matter, just find out where they're sitting. Do a drift near the fad, not on the fad, and then cast off plastic stick baits, whatever it may be, to that direction. Work it back is the key. And on that note, talking about doing the right thing at the fads, as far as etiquette goes, don't type the fad. It's a big no-no. And if there's someone basically at the fad doing a drift, just get yourself in line and re-drift. So right now we've got a few boats around us, all just drifting next to each other. We're all going to shed the fads. We don't own the fads. It's basically for everyone to use. You had the lure in the water for what, maybe 30, 40 seconds? Oh, if that. Harry's it's just dropping it back. Fish just past that sort of champagne water from the prop wash and I said yeah about there you should be on hopefully straight away on ski he's a lively one he certainly there is there you go free spool all right there's a lively fish on the troll another mahi mahi all right out of the net look at that love the skirted lure hooked him well and truly it's going off, mate. MacArthur's off plastic. Oh, oh, he's still got a bit of life. <laughs> yeah, you're not going back in the water. <laughs> no. Yeah. We, we let one go accidentally. This one's definitely going on the ice box. But what a day, mate. Let's de-hook it. I, and just, I just can't get over the colours on these things every time. You okay. just don't get sick of it. No, they're a pretty fish. Mate, mate, there's not too many fish out there that actually have the same coloration. And I think he wants to go on the esky, so we'll yeah, de-hook it, definitely. spike it, and <laughs> what a day. Nice fish. That's it. Look at that. Go. Going ballistic. Dolly, mate. Yep. On 10 pound. Doing a lot of jumping. You see it jumping out of the water at the back there. These are on. It's going again. Mate. Mate, uh, we're having a fair bit of luck. Whoa, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. You never oh. get sick of that noise. So, uh, which photo was that again, mate? Oh, this is Nicky, mate. The, the one. <laughs> <laughs> No one knows this fad, it's a secret fad. Yeah, no, it's a secret fad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the fads are put out, normally they're basically out from Hillary's and all the way down to sort of near Point Perrin. We're basically, I think, at the PGFC fad, and just south of us is the most southern one, which I think is all marine services. So they do change them around every year, but uh, this year, 2013, that is the go. Mate, that fish is going. I know, but you see that jump, it must have it jumped four or five times, and in, in the distance, it looked like a big. Sort of dolly, you know, a lot bigger than ones we've caught already. Yeah. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if I ever get this one on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Gotta love the dolphin fish. You can troll for them as well. You know, if you guys say to me what's the best technique, generally I like throwing artificials, but you can troll for them, little Richter oh. jelly babes. That works. We may get time to do it today. We'll see how we go, but this technique's working, so why change? Exactly. I've got this one beat, mate. Okay. I think, oh, it was swimming that That's way. That's a good I'm fish. Trying to Okay, just work. Turn its head. Just yeah, wind up a little bit more line. Just bring them across. Just don't want to rush it. Always net head first. Some guys go behind the tail. Obviously, the fish can swim out of the net, so it's a big no-no. Head first, but don't rush it. Oops. More fish are lost at I'm the net. They're going to come over this side. Going to come this side. It's having a bit of a stroll. Yeah, it's having a bit of because it's such light gear, you know. You... Yeah. 
What I'll do is I'll just... All right, go yeah, underneath keep, me. Keep, yeah, keep them winding. Yep. Um, go to my left if you can. Yep. Just come closer. Use that rod tip. A little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more. Free small. Oh, hang on. Come on. Come on. Nah. Okay. You can't give it any more, mate. Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. This is where you don't want to rush it. Freeze ball. That's it. Just goes to show Freeze you then. Ball. No need to rush. And before I actually get it out of the net. Oh, look at that. Have a look at those beautiful colours through the net there. Golden green, mahi mahi dolphin fish. Well, Ryan, that is an absolute awesome fish. It took me a bit to get in, but it is absolutely magnificent. On 10 pound, it's about sort of what, four kilo fish, so that's yep. 10 pound. So definitely the right outfit to use. The fads are gone off, an hour and a half of catch and release. Obviously, we kept a few yeah, definitely for a fresh feed oh, as well. This one's going to be lunch. <laughs> we can actually go back to bed, have lunch, yeah, and then get, get some sleep again. But we've had a great time. Just remember, fad fishing is fun. I think it's November through to about April that you can get out of here yourself. So uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing WA.